Erica Daniel, why do you have a drill in your hand? I have a drill in my hand because Solomon inspired me. Solomon? You mean the, the builder of the ancient temple in Jerusalem? That's him. I'm so inspired by him that I want to build my own replica of this temple right outside the church property. You want to build a replica of King Solomon's temple on our church property? Yeah, it wouldn't be that bad. We're only talking about 90 feet by 30 feet, so it's pretty manageable. 90 by 30? Wow, I, I thought it would have been bigger than that. Well, this age in skyscrapers, we see these really large buildings. But in ancient times, this would have been the most beautiful, largest building they've ever seen. I mean, think about it. it had to be built by hand. Wow. No electricity, all manpower. Wow, that that's old school. That's real old school. <laughs> so, so Solomon built this temple. Why isn't that temple still standing today? What happened to the temple? Well, the temple was destroyed. And, and then people started worshiping the temple more than the God's presence inside the temple. In fact, I think there's a, a story also where Jesus even has to cleanse the temple because the people are aren't treating it the way that God wants them to. Exactly. They, they were breaking what we call the first commandment. What's the first commandment? You shall trust and love no other gods. Okay, have only one God. And so they were beginning to worship the temple instead of worshiping God. Okay. Well, you know, this Sunday is also Reformation Sunday coming up. And we remember Martin Luther sort of tearing down the temple of his day the medieval Catholic Church, as he nailed the 95 Theses and began what we call the Reformation of the Church. So on the one hand here, we have the story of King Solomon building a temple, and on the other hand, we have a story of Martin Luther kind of starting to tear down a temple because people had abused it. That sounds like an interesting brew for, for a sermon here. You do a lot with that, Pastor Rob. Yeah, well, we have got a couple more days. Feel free to share with us your thoughts on it. Again, uh, King Solomon building and dedicating the temple, 1 Kings 5 through 8. And uh, when you come this Sunday, though, you might want to wear your hard hat. Or you could just wear red.